finally went in around 8 o'clock this morning. That's when they found Danilo Cavalcante uh, by a wood pile. He was hiding. Uh, he didn't realize he had been surrounded. He was, you know, they caught him by surprise. He still tried to crawl away through the underbrush while holding his rifle that he had stolen just a couple of days ago. And that's when uh, they had Border Patrol there. They were helping out with this. They released a canine. The canine got a hold of him, uh, bit him. We saw a photograph of him uh, bloodied up his face bloody. They say it was not a serious wound, but that is eventually how they were able to apprehend Danilo Cavalcante on day 14. Yeah, and we did hear as he was sort of trying to continue to escape capture, crawling, making himself flat. He still had that stolen 22 caliber mm -hmm. rifle with him, and we now have images of that. This is the rifle that he stole from a garage in that area. The homeowner actually saw him enter his garage. He was in there as well. Cavalcante grabbed this 22 caliber mm -hmm. uh, rifle that was equipped with a scope and a flashlight. This is what he was armed with. This sort of up the ante yeah. for law enforcement changed the trajectory of this search here once they knew he was armed. It's not the most powerful weapon, but it is a weapon and it can it can kill. Yeah. So it, they were they were particularly worried once he had that weapon in hand and that homeowner grabbed his own mm -hmm. pistol, fired fired at Cavalcante, but there was never any indication that he was wounded. Right.